Hey guys, we're ready, getting ready for the snow goose season. We're gonna put some tail loops on decoys that don't have them quite yet so we can use them for our totem rods. And as you can see behind me, so we can get them on the wall and, and stay organized and have plenty of space in the trailer for more decoys. So what you're gonna do is not knock all of your decoys, but you're gonna need a, a drill bit that's about an eighth to a quarter, whichever you prefer, a pair of pliers, and then some of our tail loops with crimps. And what you're gonna do is drill about three quarters of an inch up that tail. That gives you plenty of beef for when you're throwing these decoys around and everything it doesn't wanna tear out. And then you're gonna slide that through. And we keep a seven inch loop on ours just because it gives you plenty of room to put your hands through there and work well with the totem rod. And then after you get both sides through, take your pliers and crimp down at least two or three times to make sure that thing is good and tight on there and that nothing pulls through. And there you have it. There's about a seven inch loop on that so we can use them with our totem rods and make it easier for us to pick up and set up and, and storm Roy in the, in the trailer. Thanks for watching. Now that we got all our tail loops on it, it's time to put them on the totem rod and then hang it on the bracket and then get this trailer loaded up for season. So all you're going to do is pull this bit out and then grab a decoy slide it on. Well, we, can, we can get six decoys per side so it balances itself out. Once you got the six on, replace the cap, line the holes up, put the pin back in, and get your next six. Place the cap, find the hole, place the pin, and now you're good to go. Stick it on the bracket, lock it into place, and now it's travel ready. And that's how you set up your tail loops and your totem rod brackets. We got the last of the totem rod brackets installed. Now I'm going to load the rest of the decoys in and then get ready for putting my socks in and finishing the trailer off.